How an RIS can take divorce? Well, because now international travel increased many folds hence lot of people come to us who are having opportunity to travel abroad however at the same time they are having issues to solve before leaving India. Some people settle abroad after marriage and realize that they cannot live together and want divorce. Some people want to go abroad to settle so they think it is always better to take divorce and then they can travel alone. Some gets opportunity to travel for long term for themselves while spouse cannot travel and they do not want opportunity to pass. Some settled abroad after marriage but one of spouse returned to India due to differences. There can be many reasons so they come to us or call asking how they can take divorce. For many, marriage was quite easy experience while divorce may not be that easy. Being NRI, being out of India, opportunities or aspirations make it more complicated. In this video, we'll try to explain it in detail, which can be little complicated to understand first. For all combinations and presumptions, there are two options. Divorce by foreign courts or divorce by Indian courts. Further divorces are of three types. Mutual divorce or contested divorce or expert aid divorce. Which courts you belong to? First there is a test that which laws of which country are applicable for you and this is based on the place of the marriage. If the marriage took place out of India, even when both husband and wife are Indian citizens, then Indian law does not apply to those marriages and the country of marriage and laws of that country applies. In this case divorce can be taken by that foreign country courts only. If marriage took place and registered in India then only Indian courts jurisdiction and Indian laws are applicable. Divorce by foreign courts If the marriage happened in India and registered in India then also you can take divorce in foreign country however you can take only mutual consent divorce. The contested divorce is not recognized by Indian courts because the laws on grounds of divorce may be different. The expert aid divorce, in which other spouse remain absent, is mostly not recognized by Indian courts because process of expert aid divorce differs in countries and it cannot be certain if the process was properly followed or not for notices summons. Divorce by Indian Courts If the marriage was solemnized and registered in India then you can file divorce in India. If you keep coming or can travel to India then you can attend court. Mutual consent divorce, it is the easiest, uncomplicated and fastest divorce, and if it is possible then should use this opportunity. Both husband and wife have to be present mandatorily two times in court however waiver for six months cooling off time can be requested from court due to visa and travel. You have to inform your advocate then separate application for that will be submitted along with evidence. Otherwise you can come to court as per convenient dates after 6 months cooling off time within 18 months of filing divorce. Expert aid divorce, divorce granted by Indian court will be final since it is granted after following due process. Contested divorce, many times mutual consent divorce is not possible for many reasons like children then you have no choice but to fight for divorce. Please note that contested divorce can run for years. Divorce by Indian Courts If you cannot travel to India regularly then what you have to do? If the marriage was solemnized and registered in India then you can file divorce in India. But if you cannot come to India to attend court then you have to give special power of attorney to your divorce lawyer through Indian Embassy of that country. Your lawyer can then represent you in your absence. But you still have to come to attend court for some stages like evidence and cross-examination. If both parties are living abroad and cannot come to India then both can give special power of attorney to their respective lawyers. Hope this helps.